Welcome you to, to Winning Through the Word Ministries, Winning God's Way Ministries, however you want to put that. Uh, I'm going to minister today with the group that I have here as well on how to have the faith of God. Amen. Mark 11:22. And Jesus answering said to them, have God's faith. That's in the uh, Bible in basic English translation. The Bible in basic English translation. And Jesus answering said to them, watch this, have God's faith. That's a beautiful way to put that. Yes, sir. Have God's faith. Yes, and then Mark eleven twenty two also in uh, the uh, DRB translation. Uh, I'm not sure if that's Darby, or, but I'm just going to say DRB. And Jesus answering said to them, watch this, have the faith of God. Amen. Praise God. And then in Romans 3, and three in the King James Version. Watch this. Have the faith of God. Amen. Praise God. And then in Romans three and three in the King James Version. This is my favorite. It said, What if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? So we're going to discuss the faith of God, how to have the faith of God. And I want to say from the outset, we, sh we can and should have the faith of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Mark eleven twenty two 22, in the King James Version, uh, Jesus answering and said unto them, have faith in God, or have the faith of God or have the God kind of faith. Yes, have the faith of God. In other words, you should have it. Amen. Uh, Jesus pretty well commanded them to have it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, I don't want to stay there a long time, but that's very interesting that Peter remarked about how the fig tree had dried up from the roots, and Jesus said, have the faith of God. Yes, sir. Amen. You know, like that was the solution or something, you know, have the faith of God. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Have it. Well... <laughs> That's why I want to minister today about how can I have the faith of God? Yes, sir. Praise God. Amen. I mean, he he was pretty uh, precise. He was pretty uh, clear in saying, have the faith of God. Have it. Yes, sir. Amen. And I want to talk to you tonight about how to have it. So, the question arises, how can I have the faith of God? Well, you can have the faith of God by observing these six pieces. Now I want to talk a little bit about what is the faith of God so that we can establish the faith of God through Scripture. The faith of God is the faith that God used when he said, let there be light. And there was light. The faith of God is the faith that he used when he said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide waters from the waters. The faith of God is the faith that God used when he said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from night and let them be for signs and for seasons, 
for days and for years. The faith of God is the faith that God used when he said, let the waters bring forth abundantly. When he said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle, creeping thing, beasts of the earth after its kind. And it was so. And, and the faith of God is the same faith that God used when he said, let us make man in our image. Yes, sir. After our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So the faith of God is the same faith that God used when he saw that everything that he had made just by speaking it was very good. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The faith of God is the same faith that he used when he, he prophesied Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel. Now this was prophesied many years before Jesus' birth. Many years before the angel appeared to Mary. The faith of God was the same faith that he used years ago in Isaiah's ministry for unto us. A child is born. He wasn't born yet. Amen. I said he was not born. I see you calling those things which be not as though they were. For unto us a child is born. For unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God. The everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And of, his, of the increase of his government, there shall be no end. And upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment. See, the Lord sent a word into Jacob and it lighted upon Israel. Amen. Praise the God. faith. What is the faith of God? The faith of God is the same faith that was used in this prophecy. It says, they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled that which was spoken by the prophet. They, they parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture they did cast lots. What is the faith of God? The faith of God is the faith that God used when he said, Thou will not leave my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer thy Holy One to see corruption. Therefore, he had to be resurrected. Yes, amen. I think these are... Uh, examples of the faith of God. Amen. But I have to ask the question, why does God use faith at all? Yes, sir. He's God. Well, I'm pleased to tell you that I have an answer for you tonight. I believe God uses examples of faith to teach us faith. Yes. I don't think he had to use faith. I don't think he had to use examples. Yes, sir. Are you understanding me? Amen. Praise God. I believe he used these examples. This is very important. I believe he used the examples to teach us faith. If they call it an anthropomorphism, that's when you attribute uh, human qualities to God. Yes. The face of God. The hand of God. Mm -hmm. See, so 
And you stretch that out a little further and you see God using faith. Yes, sir. That's a beautiful answer. Yeah. Amen. I believe the Holy Ghost gave it to me. And so, let me hurry and get to these six pieces that we can have the God kind of faith by observing these six pieces. The first one is thinking it. Yes. The first one is thinking it. See, God had to think faith before he could exercise faith. Now, you know God didn't have to do anything, but I'm just putting it that way. Because I believe God used faith to give us an example of faith. Yes, amen. In Genesis 3.15, he said, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Now, he was speaking to Satan. Yes, sir. He was telling Satan that the seed of the woman which is Jesus. Uh, it couldn't have been the seed of a man because there was no man. Yes. The seed of the woman, that's why he's referred to as the seed of the woman, because there was no human seed. Yes. He's going to bruise your head, and you'll bruise his heel. Now, the bruising of Satan's head, I just want to say a little something about that. Um, everything about a snake is pretty much in his head. Yes, sir. His ability to strike, the venom, the whole nine is in his head. Yes, sir. So when it says that the seed of the woman, being Jesus, is going to bruise your head, uh, it is the most lethal, most lethal blow. Yes, sir. But you're going to bruise his heel. Yes. See, with his, with his foot, he's going to bruise your head. Yes. But in the process, you know, you do a little damage. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now, why do I say God had to think it? Stay with me. The reason why he had to think it first is because everything begins with an idea. Amen. Amen. And that's why I like to tell you all, don't worry about doing. Think it. Yes, sir. Amen. If you can hold Amen. I say if you can hold it in your head, yes, sir. you can hold it in your hand. Hallelujah. Don't worry so much about doing. Think it. Worry about what you're thinking. Put your mind on it. Amen. Say amen to that. Praise amen. God. Amen. Think of what you want. I didn't hear nothing. Amen. Don't Praise think God. of your problems. Think of. Yes, sir. Think of what you want. Think about what you want to do. Yes, sir. Think about what you're trying to do. Amen. amen. Intention follows attention. Praise God. Amen. amen. Now, not only must you think it, but you have to desire it. So number two is desiring it. In Mark eleven twenty four, 24, he says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. What things soever you desire, what things soever you desire. Amen. The, the desire has to be there. I'm not, I'm not, you know, this is not a cafeteria. Yeah. You can't take some and leave the other. Yeah. Desire has to be there. Yes, sir. I pray that the fire of your desire rise higher. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. You know, maybe I shouldn't say this, but that's the problem with young men. Young men desire the wrong thing. Yes. That's why they don't have nothing. Because they're after the wrong thing. Yes, sir. And long as young men chase women, they ain't going to have nothing. Yes, sir. 
That's going to be their undoing. Okay, I'll move on. <laughs> and God said, let us make man in our own image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. That's my desire. Yes. I'm going to read it to you again. That's my desire. Let us make man. Let us make man. That's what I desire. Yes. Amen. It starts with desiring it. Thinking it and desiring it. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Let us make man our own image. Even with God, desire came first. Desire comes before creation. Yes, amen. So you have to think it. You have to desire it. And then you have to pray it. Now, God didn't have to pray it. I didn't hear what you said. I, I said God didn't have to pray it. But you have to pray it. See, who was he going to pray to? I'll wait. Amen. Who was he going to pray to? But Jesus showed us an example when he said, what things soever you desire when you, when you pray, yes. believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Jesus showed us an example of praying in Matthew 6 and 9 and John 17. Praying, what is praying? Praying is humility. Praying is saying, I need help, God. Yes. Praying is submission to God. And praying is inviting God to get involved in your situation. Yes, amen. James 4 and 2 said, you have not. Because you ask not. That means that God can know you need it. Yes, sir. I didn't hear nothing. God can know that you need it. Amen. And God won't move because you didn't pray. Yes, you sir. have not because you ask not. Amen. So then you have to pray it. But not only praying it, you have to say it. Yes, sir. Mark eleven twenty three says, for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith Amen. shall come to pass. He shall have, oh, listen to this. He shall have, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Yes, sir. Amen. Now, wait a minute. That's, that's a tremendous statement. You know what? It's too easy. That's why we walk around with our mouths closed. It's too easy to just say it. Actually, it's very, very hard. The reason why is because there's a lot of satanic warfare around what you say or what you don't say. Amen. Yes, amen. See, when it's something bad, will you listen to me? Amen. When it's something bad, the devil tells you, say it, say it, say it. But when it's something good, he says, oh, you don't need to say it. You don't, you don't need to say that. See, this is very, very important. In the creation of what you want. Huh? Amen. This is very, very important in the creating of what you want. Because most times, more often than not, what you want does not exist. Yes, sir. I'm going to let that marinate a little bit. I want you to think about that. What you want does not exist. So you have to create it Amen. Yes, sir. by saying it. Amen. Praise God. 
Isaiah 57, 19 says, I create the fruit of the lips. I what? Create the fruit of the lips. I create the fruit, good and bad. Yes, sir. Amen. I create the fruit of the lips, good and bad. You better watch what you say. Because by your words are you justified. Amen. And by your words are you condemned. Yes, sir. Amen. God says, I will do what you say. Numbers 14, 28 says, Say unto them, as truly as I live, saith the Lord. That's pretty true. As truly as I live. Yes, sir. As you have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. Yes, sir. In Malachi 3, 13, God says, watch this. Your words have been stout against me. Look at that. God is listening. Yes, sir. He's listening to your words. He said, your words have been stout against me. Yes. That's why I've got this, I've got something against you. That's why there's a problem. Yes, sir. It's not nothing you did. Your words were stout. Amen. Your words won't be stout against God. Proverbs 18 and 20. Watch this. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. Let me try that again. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the outcome of his mouth. And with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Proverbs 18:21. Death and death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that eat it, they that love it, shall eat the fruit thereof. Yes, sir. Amen. You know, in my introductory re remarks. I, I talked about God said, God said, God said, God said, God said. Watch this, this is very important. Who was he talking to? <clears throat> you got to stop seeing. You got to learn to talk creatively. Yes, amen. Who was he talking to? You've got to learn to speak creatively. Yes, sir. Praise God. Amen. That's why I'm not a big proponent of silent prayer. Now, you do what you want to do. But Jesus said, when you pray, say, our Father. Yes, sir. Amen. Now, I'm going to go with what Jesus said. Amen. I'm not going by any other example you find in the Bible. Jesus said, when you pray, say. Amen. Yes. Before I leave this point, I want to say that we need to work on our ability to speak. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You need to work on your speaking. Amen. Praise God. Being quiet all the time is not it. Amen. Yes, sir. So you have to think it, you have to desire it, you have to pray it, you have to say it, yes. and then you need to work on it. I didn't hear what you Amen. said. Amen. Praise God. Now listen to, this very care listen to this very carefully. I'm almost done. Thank you. Genesis 2 and 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. Were what? Finished. finished. On the seventh day, listen very carefully. 
This is about working. On the seventh day, God ended his work. What was his work? Speaking. That was his work. Yes, sir. On the seventh day, he ended his work. He rested on the seventh day yes, sir. from all his work. You need to work on your speaking. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Because speaking is working. Amen. Praise God. Okay, I'm going to try it again. Speaking is working. Amen. Yes, sir. Confessing stuff is working. Amen. Praise Making declarations. Amen. Amen. You have to work at speaking. Yes, sir. And then lastly, as I go to my seat, you have to work it, and then you will see it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And then you will see it. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, guess what? It was very good. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It was very good. Look at all that work he did. Yes, sir. Just speaking. Amen. If you think it, desire it, pray it, say it, yes, sir. and work it, you will see it. Amen. Praise God. Praise Amen. God. Praise be to God Almighty. Amen. I'm out of time. Thank you for yours.